This distribution happens to be my personal favorite for beginners, and it is also a magnificent replacement for Windows XP. I'm speaking about Linux Lite version 1.0.8 has just released, and we are looking at it right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. let's get started. I moved the panel from the bottom all the way to the top of the screen as a matter of personal preference. And uh, upon first glance, this is a pretty neat looking desktop. This uses XFCE. I'm also looking at the 32-bit version, and the reason I am looking at the 32-bit version rather than 64-bit is because most Windows XP computers shipped with a 32-bit version. And so this is an overview for those of you running older Windows XP machines. This is a perfect replacement operating system. It's nice and lightweight and very fast. Okay, first, let's have a look and see what you get with this. Uh, if you look at your uh, panel here, uh, you're going to see that you have a clock. And when you click on that, it gives you the time and date settings. And then from here, you can manage your events. You have a volume control, a battery indicator, network manager, and then two desktops to switch from. You also have a quick launch to your terminal, your home folder, the Firefox web browser, and of course you can minimize all windows and show the desktop, then of course your menu, which really doesn't look that fancy. But for those of you who want to have more of a Windows feel, you can change that. Let me show you how. You right click on the panel, and then go into Panel, and then Panel Preferences. Under Items, press the plus button here, scroll down to where you see Whisker Menu, and then press, highlight it, and then press Add. Okay, and we can close. We'll take the Whisker Menu here, and we're gonna press the up arrow, and we're gonna move it all the way up to the top. We're gonna take this one, the old applications menu and we're going to hide hide or remove this by pressing the X button. I'm going to remove it. Okay, and then under Whisker menu we have some options. We can maybe, uh, you know, have this show generic application names if we want to. We can have it display icon and title. And why don't we just title this menu. Maybe I want this to have a look like uh, the uh, original menu that this had. Well, that's easy. Just click the icon, select all icons from this menu here, scroll down until you find, or up or down, until you find the icon that you want. There is a lot of icons in here as well. Once you've selected, just press close. Apparently it's not behaving this time around, but when I was going through my tests, it, it gave me the look that I wanted and, well, gave me the Ubuntu logo. So, your mileage may vary. Let's go ahead and close this. And now you're going to see we have a nice menu here that uh, has more of a Windows look and feel. And the nice thing about this is if there is something you're looking for, you know, you can just type in what it is you want and you can easily find it, which is something you wouldn't be able to do with the other menu that I just showed you. Okay, and one thing that makes this really great in terms of user friendliness is the fact that this has wonderful community support. You have a built-in help menu right here, which will open up Firefox, and it will allow you to read through all of the documentation. And not just read through it, but to actually get pictures that explain everything to you clearly. So, you know, it tells you how to set this up and boot with UEFI if you were to have that. It tells you how to set up Mumble uh, if you want to go online and get voice chat support. It's right here and it tells you how to do it. It tells you how to do IRC here. It tells you about the menu system. You can go into the install guide and it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions for installing this. It'll tell you how to properly set up your network. 
with pictures. So you'll never get lost. And then of course, if you do have a problem, you can always get help and support by hitting the internet menu here, and then you can open up XChat IRC for text chat and then mumble for voice chat. Let's have a look at XChat IRC. If we click on this here, XChat will open. It will automatically assign you a name and then you can go in and get support for this, okay? And obviously, it's showing me as the name Linux Lite 1969. I am in the Linux Lite room and you will see that there are some people in here uh, who are ready, willing, and able to help. Let's give you a rundown of what you get with this. Linux Lite is a complete operating system, but they wanted to keep it on the small size so it would fit on a standard CD. So, they made some helper scripts which will allow you to install applications that you may or may not want to run, depending on your preferences. So let's go over what is installed first. Under Accessories, an application finder, a calculator, quick launch to your home folder which is also here screenshot terminal text editor you can unzip and compress files with this utility in games you get steam pre-installed on the 32-bit version it is not included on the 64-bit version but there is an install script quick launches to take you to the humble bundle website which is a great place to go to purchase games you can get a Steam driver information here. Great for those of you who are using Steam. This di distribution was created by a gamer. So with that in mind, these were all put together for those of you who want to get your game on Linux. And Linux is a magnificent platform for gaming. And then, of course, quick launch to the Steam homepage as well. In graphics, you get the GIMP, an image viewer, and then a simple scanner for scanning documents. In Internet, you get Firefox as your web browser. Mumble for voice chat. Network connections are managed here. You get the Thunderbird mail and then, of course, XChat IRC as I've done a demonstration of. In Multimedia, you get an audio mixer, a CD, DVD burn burner, the Pulse Audio volume control, and then VLC media player. In Office, you get the LibreOffice suite. In a PDF you were amazing they were able to fit all of this onto a one CD this is a complete operating system you don't even get all this software with a standard Windows install in setting you can access that right here by pressing this little control bar if you decided to use the whisker menu but everything you will need for customizing your system is all right here or you can just click on that all settings icon here and here it is. You can manage your accessibility, your appearance options, and I'll tell you what, I've got some tutorials on my channel, kids, that will tell you how you can really modernize this and make XFCE look really cool. But there are some options already included with this. You can manage your desktop options, your display options, your file manager, keyboard, mouse and touchpad. All of your notifications can be managed here. Your, you can manage your panel, which is up here. Your power manager, preferred applications, removable drives and media, screensaver, session and startup, your window manager. That's the borders that go around your windows. You can adjust your window manager tweaks. This will enable transparency and other cool desktop effects. And then, of course, you can manage your workspaces, how many of them currently we have, too. Let's close this and let's talk about some of the helpers that have been included with this. If we go into system here, okay, you there's an option to create a system report, disable auto login, edit network shares, enable auto login. Great for those of you who are, you know, just using the computer by yourself, you know, and you just want the computer to automatically log in when you turn it on. Okay. Now we have some fun stuff we can look at here because these are the helpers. Gotta love this menu. You can make it as large or as small as you want to. Linux Lite has some pretty cool install scripts which will make it easy for you to add additional functionality for those of you who want a little bit more power than what Linux Lite gives you out of the box. For instance, you can install file and folder search. You can install a games pack. You can install an instant messaging client, which will allow you to access most instant messaging services that are out there. You can install an iPod manager 
for syncing files back and forth between your Linux desktop and your device. You can install a PAE kernel. The PAE kernel is great for those of you who have more than 4 gigs of RAM installed on your computer and you want the system to be able to make use of this. PAE kernel will enable that for you. I used to use that function myself. I think it's awesome. You can install remote desktop. This is great for those of you who might want to have somebody help you with an issue and they can remotely access your desktop and see exactly what you see on your screen and help you implement changes. You can add remove software here. You can install restricted extras which will give you the ability to play DVDs and most multimedia formats that are out there. You can install a software center. This lightweight Lubuntu Software Center gives you a graphical representation of applications that you can install which are free and open source onto your computer. I highly recommend that you select to install this. You can also install a deluge which happens to be my personal favorite for BitTorrent. You can install video editing software. In this case OpenShot is selected which is a great entry-level video editor which is about as easy as Windows Movie Maker, but I personally think it gives you a lot more options in terms of video editing. You can install VirtualBox. Great for those of you who might have one or two Windows programs that you just can't live without. Well, you can run Windows Sandbox within your Linux desktop using VirtualBox. I highly recommend that you give that a try. You can install a weather monitor. You can also install a webcam software on this. And then, of course, my personal favorite, Wine. Wine is not an emulator. It is a compatibility layer, which will allow you to get some of your Windows programs working. And I've had a lot of great success with it myself, but I also had a lot of time to practice with it. Wine HQ is definitely the place you want to hit because you can follow their instructions for getting some of your favorite Windows programs and games working. Then, of course, a log file viewer, NTFS configuration tool. You can partition your drives. You have printing, resource usage, restart network sharing, uh, system information, and a task manager. All in all, vault has put together a really nice gem of an operating system here. It is a complete OS that fits on a CD. Great for you beginners out there because this is a complete desktop that you can easily start using as soon as you install it. Well, you don't even have to install it. Just burn it to a CD, boot your computer off the CD, and start using it immediately. You don't even have to install this. You can start surfing the internet. You know, uh, you can really enjoy this operating system without even having to install it. And that's something Windows just doesn't do. At the end of the day, I always enjoy what Linux Lite brings to the table. This is a magnificent replacement for Windows XP and a wonderful option for beginners who are considering giving Linux a try for the very first time. Small enough to fit on a CD, just boot your computer off of it and you can run this operating system without even installing it to your hard drive. And once you've had a chance to play with it a little bit, you can install this alongside Windows or you can just replace Windows with this operating system. It's magnificent, wonderful support through the community, and I highly recommend this to anybody who is trying Linux for the first time. My mother is a 70-year-old woman who is running Linux Lite, and even she finds this very easy to use. So with that being said, if a 70-year-old lady can run this distribution, I would imagine anybody should be able to. Well, that's all I have on this. And as a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts that are bringing you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting some coins. Peace out.